want to deal with the question of what causes sickness or illness in the world. Uh, we find it in John chapter 9. There Jesus is passing by and sees a, a man that's blind from his birth. Um, he's a beggar. He's in Jerusalem. Um, Jesus is going to heal him, about to heal him. And verse 2, his disciples of chapter 9 of the Gospel of John, his disciples ask him, saying, Master, who did sin, uh, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? So they're asking a good question. Uh, how is it that this guy's been blind all his life? You know, what's the cause of this? Um, you know, we can, uh, we know that the, the ultimate cause of all the sickness in the world, all the illnesses, all the infirmities, eventually our death is because of sin. The sin that um, Adam and Eve committed uh, in the garden uh, passed down to all of us. And all of us are uh, under that curse of death. I mean, um, it's going to happen to us. Everybody that's been born into the world has died because of, of the curse of sin. Um, and more specifically, these uh, disciples are asking him, was it uh, his sin and, or was it his parents' sin? Uh, look at um, John chapter 5. John chapter 5, verse 14. Um, Jesus uh, has healed a man, and he, uh, he'd been had an infirmity for 38 years, sat by the pool, uh, and uh, unable to pick himself up and get himself in when the waters were stirred so he could be healed. Pitiful person. Jesus heals him, speaks to him. He picks up his bed and he walks. And um, verse 14 says, Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, Behold, you are made whole. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come unto you. So it is possible that uh, our illnesses and sicknesses and diseases are a result of sin, maybe our own sin or our parents' sin. Uh, I mean, the disciples aren't far off when they ask that question. Um, it could be that it's just a normal course of the, uh, of the infirmity of, of humankind uh, that has been passed down to us from Adam. It could be the result, uh, which is eventually because, of, uh, ultimately because of sin, uh, or it could be uh, a, more, a close, more closely associated sin of, of ours or our parents'. Um, so do you see that there in verse 14? Don't sin anymore lest the worst thing come unto you. I mean, it, it, it could be worse if you keep sinning. Don't, don't continue to sin. Um, look at um, Job chapter 1. Job chapter 1 and verse 1. <clears throat> there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. So uh, here's a guy who's going to be in terrible, terrible physical pain and suffering he's going to have um, his his whole world is going to be shaken up his all his children are going to die their homes are going to be destroyed he's going to lose uh, all of his cattle all of his all of his possessions it's just him and his wife and uh, he's going to be in a terrible state and look at um, his condition he's perfect and upright uh, he's he fears God he eschews evil uh, he is uh, making offerings for his children in case any of them has, have sinned against God. I mean, this guy is this guy is upright and blameless. So what is, what is going to happen to him is not going to happen because of his sin. Look at chapter two, uh, beginning in verse seven. So uh, so uh, so went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot to his crown. In other words. Um, the first uh, episode of destroying everything that he owned didn't work. He, he, he stayed true to God, and the next thing he does is he's going to touch his body. And he has boils from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. And he took, uh, Job did, a, a verse 8, a, a, a piece of pottery to scrape himself, and he sat down among the ashes. I mean, he is, um, he is the epitome of uh, um, um, pity. You know that that he is sitting in ashes and scraping it, scraping the boils, just in complete misery. His body is racked with pain from these boils. He's lost everything, you know. And as it goes on in the book of Job, we understand this wasn't. I mean, Job was upright. He was a uh, upright man. He was a perfect man. It doesn't mean that he had no sin. It's just that he was complete. He was following after God. He feared God. What happened to him wasn't about 
uh, his sin. And it's the same thing, turn back to uh, John chapter 9. John chapter 9, uh, verse 3, Jesus answers um, his disciples' question about who sinned, his parents or the man. And he said, Neither has this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him, so or made known through him. So um, sometimes um, our illnesses are just a result of being a human being and having that passed down to us. Um, I mean, we're all going to die. It, it, it's just a process of death. It could be um, an immediate cause of our parents' sin or our sin, or it could be that God is working in us to show forth His glory, um, like He did with Job. You know, the end of Job was was marvelous. He got his, he got everything back. He he was abundant. He was praising God and blessing God. And this guy who's born blind is going to be the same way. Well, I hope that answers the question: um, Where does sickness come from? You know, it could be just a natural result of the progression of sin in the lives of people. It might be because of parent sin or individual sin, or it could be just for the glory of God as God receives glory um, from our infirmities.